it is currently 5.32 a.m. And I'm wide awake. Huh? Good morning, guys. How are you all doing? Me? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I've been awake, wide awake, since 5 a.m. I set my alarm for 6. I think I know why. Because all last week I was working my afternoon shifts, 2 while 10. Been going to bed around one half past one, and then Friday I agreed to go into work. Yesterday, at six a.m. So when I came on Friday night, I had just enough time to walk early before I went to bed. I managed to get to sleep, but I was tossing and turning all night. I kept finding myself laying on my side. My cushion that I had um, under my knee was somehow on the other side of me and up near my head. I I, I don't know. Which turned out to be a mistake because all of yesterday my foot was killing me because I propped the cushion under my left knee thinking maybe that'll help. No. And because this week I'm on my morning shift, six while two, I get up early on a Sunday so I set my alarm for six or in bed for half past ten last night and this time I put the cushion under my uh, butt <laughs> to prop my back up a little. I was straight out, straight to sleep, and then this morning I've woke up at bang on five o'clock, needing the toilet, so I got up, realising straight away my foot wasn't hurting at all, although again the cushion somehow when I got out of bed was up next to my head. So anyway, went back to bed after I'd been to the toilet, and my brain just like, boom, wakey wakey, it's time to get up, and I'm like, no, I, I want to sleep for another hour. Couldn't. 10 minutes laid in bed and I'm just like restless. So I've got up. <laughs> Ow. Somebody's waiting for me to take him out. I suppose I better go and do that, huh? Well, this is a good idea vlogging in the dark. <laughs> Hold on. There you go, you can see me now. I carry my head torch that I got for my camping trip on my wrist when I'm out with Harley in the dark because now that I've got the torch in my face I can't actually see where I'm going <laughs> and it's deceivingly cold I looked outside and it looked like it was okay even though I did put my new coat on and I'm now wishing I put my scarf on <laughs> yeah, I'm really surprised I'm wide awake this morning because I had two beers last night and of course I went straight to sleep I really can't understand why I've woke up like this. Might be the excitement of getting the oven and hob today, which is why I've got to stay in until they arrive and get put in. I have had a text message saying that they will be delivering between the times of 12 o'clock and 4 o'clock. Oh, and yesterday I uploaded a brand new smeg, Chris. I really, really like it. It's called the Green Screen Project where I actually played with the green screen that Tony and Trin got me for Bar Humbug Day. Some of it worked, some of it didn't. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun episode. Most of it was scripted. The parts where I was playing with the green screen, all improvised. I like it when I do that. I end up uh, making myself laugh a lot. I was hoping you guys can see me now because I'm coming to the part of the walk where there are street lights. You can just make me out, I can turn this light off now. And I've uh, been thinking about holidays again. In fact, I think about holidays every day. In fact, just uh, Friday, while I was getting my comic books, I decided to go into the uh, shop, Blacks, and I went to have a look at their tents. There was a really nice one. It was £650, I think it was. It's one of those that you don't need poles for because they're all... It's all pumped up with air. It was a four berth, but wow. It was nice. So yeah, I'm looking at tents, even though I'm probably still going to use my old one for my next camping trip, which I'm hoping is at the end of May. And I'm also looking at holidays abroad. I've got an idea of what I want to do. I think I said that last time, actually. But I need to look into it. All I know is that when I go abroad, I'll have to leave him behind and he'll not be happy. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to put you guys away now. I've gone very cold. I wish I'd put my scarf on. So it's been about five and a half hours since I last talked to you guys. 
it's just coming up to midday and mainly all I've been doing is sitting down in front of the TV and I mean just sat there I must have watched about five hours of TV a film quite a few TV shows and I had my dinner but I haven't been all lazy I've done this as well I've pulled out my washing machine because they need to get to the gas pipe which is there to change this and I've noticed something there's a power cable that comes all the way down from the hob and I'm thinking what's that for and then I realize because this doesn't work anymore it'll have been for that it doesn't even press that's why I have this sat next to it which I'll no longer have to do once I have the new one put in but the biggest question like I said last week once the new oven's been put in will all my electrics turn off when I use it that's something I'm going to be finding out in a bit well hopefully in a bit like I said earlier on the text said between 12 and 4 p.m. and because it's just turning 12 that means the waiting game begins <sighs> well I didn't have to wait long the rear it's only just turned one o'clock and I've put Harley there I don't want him jumping up at them all, all the time like he tends to do with everybody he meets he'll be all right in there and I've just realized they've turned my gas off and my fire was on so I've turned that off poor Harley's gonna have to wait patiently <laughs> Less than an hour later, new oven and new hob. <laughs> Here's the oven. It's a Indeset. As you can hear, it's still running because it's cooling down. I asked about that. It's normal. We had it running at 250 for about 10 to 15 minutes and my electrics didn't go off, so that's a good thing. <laughs> and check out the hob. When you turn these dials, there's no gas coming out until you do this. Oh, there we go. I've still got to get used to it. That's simmer, high, and then off. Just got to read the instructions on the oven because there's a lot of differences to the old one. I mean, I can figure out the timer, obviously. And obviously that changes the temperature, but it's these. I mean, I've got light for when I clean it out, he says. Yeah, right, like I'm ever going to do that. Maybe, probably. But it's these options. I remember him saying that was defrost. That's the fan assisted grill. That's the fan assisted oven. That's grill. So yeah, that'll be oven. So, oh, I don't need to look at the instructions. I've worked it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do work in a factory where I work with furnaces. So yeah, I've worked that out. <laughs> and I've also had to make sure that the fire is working, which it is. You check my boiler to make sure that was working. The house was getting cold. So yes, I'm now back to having a proper hob and a proper oven so that means I can start buying food that I can stick in the oven <laughs> I've just realised the oven stopped <laughs> awesome and now I have to put that back in there yay <laughs> took a while but I finally got it in took so long it's actually gone dark I'm kidding I'm kidding I did that a few hours ago it's now quarter to five since then I've done a few other things like sort out Harley's pet insurance. Last year I paid £169 for his insurance. This year the same company was trying to charge me 201 and I'm like nope not having that cancelled it and I've just been online and I got virtually the same deal for £92. So save some more money. <laughs> £109 in fact and because I did it through Compare the Market it was saying claim your free prize here so I'm like oh what's this so I clicked on it and it was saying you can have a meerkat toy and I'm like hmm Joe collects them so I was straight onto the phone to her and I told her what was happening and she, I says which meerkat do you want <laughs> so hopefully I'll be getting that through and I almost did a second one for my car insurance I was on a company that was offering it cheaper but when I was getting into the details it was asking for additional this and additional that and each one was about £30 and I'm like I'm not adding these I don't, I don't want them and then there was one saying uh, for you losing your keys or something and I'm like but that's already included and I checked and it was but this was some other additional reason for key loss if, you, if it's in your ignition and the key goes missing I'm like what? So eventually I'm just like, you know what? I've still got another two weeks to go before I'm, I have to get that insurance sorted out. So I came out. Oh, and I've had the oven running for 25 minutes to see how it goes. No power loss whatsoever. So awesome. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to sign off now because I've got to take Harley to my parents because he's staying there tomorrow as I'm on 12 hours just for the one day. So I'll be picking him up again tomorrow night. So I'm going to sign off. So I shall say thank you for watching and subscribing if you have. Until the next time, peace out. Want to know why I'm smiling? Because now I've got a working oven, I can have frozen pizzas. <laughs>